My grandpa was also an entrepreneur and he was one of my heroes. I was close to my grandfather during the decline of his health and I was there when he died. It really was this intimacy that I shared with him as he was dying that gave me the courage to explore how people around me were, were experiencing loss. I started to find that people around me who were living with cremated remains would talk so passionately about their loved one or their pet and then tell me that they were keeping them in their basement, their closet, or their garage. It was priority mail, UPS, nothing, or USPS, nothing particular. And I stuck it somewhere in the garage. And then when it was time to go to see you and to take it to Parting Stone, I couldn't find it. I had no idea where I had put it. It just, it had become kind of meaningless sitting there. I'm usually like pretty uh, sentimental and like res respectful of certain objects in my life. But for some reason, like my dad's ashes has not been one of those objects. It's just been like in an envelope in my like, like top drawer of my whatever, like sock drawer, basically. We kept them in our clothing closet. The only time I saw them was we cleaned out the closet every so now and again, the spring cleaning. And we'd think, well, where do we put the two boxes and we'd find a place. But there was no real sense of connection. I just thought this relationship was so tragic. And it was all because cremated remains come in a really gross form. People don't know what to do with them. I found the ashes a little creepy probably more because of the bone fragments than anything else. It's a messy business, trying to spread ashes. I've done it before. I've always loved the idea of having objects that are in my daily life, you know? Where like, I travel a lot for work and so it's nice to have small things that I can carry with me and like it, things that don't take a lot of space and that I have in my like day-to-day -day life that they kind of like absorb your energy and your experience. Once it came back to me as these beautiful stones I love holding them. I love showing them to people. I say, this is Tom, and it's really special. Somehow the idea of your parents turning into rock is a transfer from human life into nature, which is sort of exciting. We don't accept this type of experience in any other part of modern life. Why are we accepting it for one of our most treasured possessions? We were awarded a grant to work with material scientists at Los Alamos National Laboratory. We told them that we wanted to invent a new form of human remains, and no one thought it was possible. My name is Chris Chen. I'm with uh, Los Alamos National Laboratory, and I've been working on advanced ceramics uh, for the last 30 years. When I first uh, uh, heard about this one, I said, uh, just you're crazy, because uh, I do advanced ceramics, okay? Human remain, uh, cremation looks like a, a low tech to me. When we talk about more and more, and, and I think uh, this could be a tremendous transformational breakthrough for this uh, human remain industry. With the help of the labs, Partingstone develops solidified remains. With this technology, you can receive the full amount of remains in a solid and clean form. Now, instead of receiving a box of ashes following cremation, you can receive a collection of stones. What many people don't know about cremation is that remains come out of the furnace as large fragments of bone. The crematory puts bones in the blender to turn them into what we know as ash. Parting stone purifies the ash by removing contaminants like staples, screws, and medical implants. The solidification process looks like a science-y version of making ceramics. We turn the refined remains into a clay-like material, craft the stones, solidify them in a kiln, and then we clean and polish them and return the stones to the customer. A 100-pound person results in about 25 stones. The most surprising thing that we've discovered is that each person is naturally a different color. Many people come out white or a hue of blue or green, and some people are a beautiful radical variation. Some people just see cremation as a convenient form of a disposition. Parting Stone sees it as a platform for healing, growth, and engagement.
Our team is inspired by empathy, and we're passionate about creating meaningful experiences. We don't create band-aids that help horrible experiences feel better. We build positive solutions from the ground up. Before you choose a funeral home, ask if they offer stones. If you are living with ashes that you'd like turned into stones, we'll ship you a collection kit to get your ashes shipped free and safe to the Parting Stone Lab. Our loved ones deserve better than to be lost and forgotten in our homes. Parting Stone is making it so that never has to happen again.